this kind of mark cannot be seen. It lives in your very skin. What is it? Love, Harry. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 21st century films you should see at least once. For this list, we'll be looking at movies from this century that have made their mark enough to demand at least one viewing. From cultural resonance to sheer quality, these films deserve to be seen even by casual cinema fans. Great documentaries or animated features such as Spirited Away don't count for this list. Did we forget one of your favorite 21st century releases? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Children of Men. Diego Ricardo, the youngest person on the planet, was 18 years, four months, 20 days, 16 hours, and 8 minutes old. With Children of Men, Alfonso Cuaron adapts the novel of the same name into one of the finest science fiction films of its day. The story's social commentary about a future without kids feels like a haunted nightmare that's utterly compelling at every twist and turn. Working with famed cinematographer Emmanuel Lubezki, the filmmaker crafts some of the most memorable long takes in recent history. <laughs> Viewers will find the dialogue as thoroughly entrancing as the suspenseful chases and battle scenes. The visceral movie delivers an unflinching look into a disturbing and realistic world, never softening the material for cinematic audiences. Number 9. Moonlight Barry Jenkins' tour de force drama Moonlight beat the odds and won Best Picture at the Academy Awards. The narrative triptych follows a boy's journey into manhood as he discovers his own sexuality. I'm the only one. I haven't really touched anyone since. Along the way, a brilliant cast of characters guide or hinder his growth into a nuanced and misunderstood human being. Jenkins doesn't waste a single frame of film, letting small details breathe life into each delicately written scene. Lord knows I did not have love for you when you needed it. I know that. So you ain't gotta love me. But you gonna know that I love you. Each actor provides an honest and enthralling performance in a series of believable and dramatic moments, including an Oscar-winning turn from Mahershala Ali. There you go. Ten seconds. That right there. You're in the middle of the world. Through three extended sequences, the movie details an engrossing portrait of someone trying to make sense of the world. Number eight, in the mood for love. In the Mood for Love might be the most romantic film of this or any century. Whether or not you agree with that statement, Wong Kar Wai's vision transcends the typical pitfalls and cliches of the genre. The movie follows two married people as they form a platonic relationship after discovering their spouses are having an affair. <laughs> Led by captivating performers Maggie Chung and Todi Luong, this portrait of an unorthodox couple enjoys dwelling in small moments from exchanging glances to quiet conversations. We are just on time to have a the famed Hong Kong filmmaker designs an exceptionally intimate tale that leaves room for interpretation and in moving scenes of unspoken attraction. Number 7. Get Out How do you feel now? You're paralyzed. Jordan Peele brought his own personal take to the horror genre and the hugely influential Get Out. Both providing a tribute to classic tropes and subverting them, Peele's script grounds the hero's journey in the reality of race relations in America. Fair skin has been in favor for the past, what, couple of hundreds of years? But now the pendulum is swung back. Black is in fashion. Meeting his white girlfriend's family, the lead character Chris slowly unravels a conspiracy that puts him in grave danger. Get out. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! Yo! 
The entire movie combines suspense and dark comedy into one of the tensest viewing experiences of the century. Building to a shocking twist, the plot grabs audiences and never lets go until the film's satisfying payoff. I mean, I told you not to go in that house. Number 6. Pan's Labyrinth Nuestro más humilde subdito, artesan. No, yo... Vos sois la princesa Moana, hija del rey de Bezmorra, el reino subterráneo. Guillermo del Toro's vision of 1940s Spain utilizes all of his trademark imagination to tell a memorable spin on a fairy tale. Juxtaposing scenes of post-Spanish Civil War violence with fantastic imagery, the director and his technicians come together for an unforgettable trip into a surreal world. Mi hermano se queda conmigo. Sacrificaréis vuestro derecho sagrado por este mocoso al que apenas conocéis. Sí. Lo sacrifico. The young Ophelia finds herself to be the princess of the underworld as she interacts with a multitude of strange creatures like the Pale Man. Winning awards for its beautiful art direction and makeup, the sweeping adventure tackles the harsh realities of history with Del Toro's love of fantasy storytelling. Y habéis elegido bien, Alteza. Venid a mi lado y sentaos junto a vuestro padre, que tan largo tiempo os ha esperado. Number five, there will be blood. And starts to drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up! Featuring one of the most captivating lead performances ever, There Will Be Blood stands tall in its relentless examination of greed. Daniel Day-Lewis disappears into the role of a ruthless oil man, Daniel Plainview, in a tragic descent into darkness. His endless quest for power and money alienates him from his son and puts him in a fierce rivalry with a local preacher. Say it louder! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! Who begged for the blood! Paul Thomas Anderson directs the film as if his life depended on it, shedding his previous stylistic choices to present a formal look at early 20th century America. Every technical department works to make the surrounding story feel as authentic as possible, with Day Lewis rounding out the production in one of his greatest acting achievements. I am the third revelation! I am the third revelation! I told you I would eat you! Number 4. Parasite This award-winning satire defies genres with its politically conscious and comedically charged thrills. A down-on-their-luck South Korean family infiltrates a wealthy family's affairs and begins a parasitic relationship that gets upended by unforeseeable forces. There's no telling where this film will go next, owing to its brilliant plotting that succeeds at keeping the audience on the edge of their seat. Director Boong Joon-ho is in top form as a master craftsman, bringing together a family ensemble where each actor's performance rings true and finds natural moments of humor along the way. Introducing another generation to South Korean cinema, this international masterpiece encourages world audiences to read along with its subtitles to discover a tightly wound thriller of the highest caliber. <laughs> Number 3. The Dark Knight The Dark Knight ranks among the greatest superhero films ever made, as well as one of the best action spectacles of the 2000s. Christopher Nolan's modern and more grounded take on the genre produces a number of thrilling sequences as well as a more emotionally resonant take on the Batman character. We decided to act. We three. Then why was it me who was the only one who lost everything? It wasn't. The Joker chose me! On top of an all-star cast, Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker still ranks among the most memorable and engrossing villain roles ever. See, madness, as you know, is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. There's no shortage of entertaining moments to revisit from a compelling heist to the famed Batpod chase. Other cape-filled adventures like The Avengers represent the Hollywood comic book craze, but this particular rendition elevates the format to a whole other level. Some men aren't looking for anything logical, like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, 
or negotiated with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Number two, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon follows in a grand tradition of wuxia films. Following the quest for a sword named Green Destiny, the compelling narrative brings together Michelle Yeoh and Chow Yun-fat to fight their way through an energetic collection of fantastical combat scenes. Most people remember the experience for its highly choreographed stunts, often using wires to send characters up walls and through the trees. Ang Lee's vision of ancient China swells with grand set design and inventive action, flying in the face of typical modern blockbusters. Winning an Oscar for Best Foreign Language Film, the movie also reconnected English language audiences with Eastern cinema. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. No Country for Old Men The Coen brothers won Oscars for this effective crime thriller and its suspenseful narrative. You know what date is on this coin? No. 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And it's either heads or tails. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind a heartbreaking sci-fi romance like no other with an incredible script and cast. I really like that you're nice right now. I mean, <laughs> I can't tell from one moment to the next what I'm going to like, but right now, I'm glad you are. Mulholland Drive Dave Lynch's surreal journey into the darkness of Hollywood provokes endless discussion. No, I bond, and yet we hear a band. If we want to hear a clarinet, listen. Zero Dark Thirty. This political thriller expertly traces the hunt for bin Laden to his climactic death. So they're using you guys as canaries in the theory that if bin Laden isn't there, you can sneak away and no one will be the wiser. Hmm. But bin Laden is there. And you're going to kill him for me. Mean Girls. Tina Fey's high school comedy created memes with its hilarious takedown of 2000s culture. Take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy And that's how Regina George died. No, I'm totally kidding. But she did get hurt. Some girls say they saw her head go all the way around, but that's just a rumor. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Lord of the Rings – The Fellowship of the Ring Among the most lauded achievements in 21st century film, The Lord of the Rings captures all of the magic of Tolkien across three entries. Many point to The Fellowship of the Ring as the superior part of the fantasy trilogy. Peter Jackson begins the adaptation with a rousing opening that invites die-hard fans and newcomers into Middle-earth with intricate storytelling. He poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. Cast members Ian McKellen and Viggo Mortensen are just two standouts among a talented list of performers that fill the ranks of this tale. Sauron the Deceiver gave to them nine rings of power. Blinded by their greed, they took them without question, one by one, falling into darkness. Jackson's seamless blend of practical and computer-generated elements makes the world of the books roar to life, changing the course of pop culture forever. I do not know what strength is in my blood. But I swear to you, I will not let the White City fall. Our people fail. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.